Before I jump into the main topic, here is an important detail. If you are preparing for a tech role, then you must choose a solid career track. Visit sandfoundry.com slash training to know more. Uh, dear friends, uh, in this particular video, I am going to show you one of the masterpiece. Okay, this is a very classical uh, code which will allow you to understand some of the very fundamental concepts around uh, standard I/O libraries in C programming language. A uh, lot of students have interacted in all these years. Uh, they they understand few things, but they don't understand the I/O library. Right, it's a standard I/O library. Many of you, uh, I am sure, you know, will simply use stdio.h because I think uh, that's what we have been always told actually, right, to include stdio.h. So it's a standard I/O header library for C language actually, correct? So we have to understand some very important important concept. So suppose I give you this code, and this code is nothing but an infinite while loop. You can see that you have an infinite while loop here and what are you printing? You are printing sand foundry surprise, right? So there's going to be some surprise for you if you keep running this code actually, okay? Don't worry, the machine won't hang. It won't hang, it won't crash, okay? But as you can see very clearly, it's a fairly, fairly simple code. So let me explain for some of you, you know, uh, basically what does it mean? I've included one more header called unistd.h. So this is generally for, you know, a system call kind of a programming, right? Some sort of a library functions. And then I'm doing a sleep. So I'm using a, a sleep call, sleep for one second here, right? So in infinite loop, what we are doing is we are doing a print, sand foundry surprise, then we'll sleep for one second. Again, do a print and then sleep. Again, do a print and then sleep, right? So I think that's where uh, I'm stopping here in terms of my uh, explanation of this code. But this code has a very good learning for everybody, okay? So what you should do is, again, you must be you know tempted to do a good analysis and then you must run the code. You have to run the code to understand the beauty of this surprise, okay? So I'm going into the uh, lab. I will show you the output and then again, I will come back. I'll come back into my whiteboard to explain you the phenomena, what's happening in this entire, you know, exercise, okay? So let's jump into the, uh, into the lab now. Yeah. So you can see here, you must be able to code this exactly the way I have coded. There should not be any variation because a very important concept is being uh, shown to all of you now. Okay, so I am compiling this code now. You can see the code cc p25.c and then I will run my program. I have entered it. I have entered the program, right? I have entered it out. out. But what you are seeing, you are seeing that Nothing is getting printed, surprisingly, right? It may be a surprise for some of you or maybe many of you, okay? But some of the keen readers of C language, they know what is going on behind the scenes, okay? So this video will really help you what's going on behind the scenes, okay? In terms of standard I.O. library and the buffers, okay? I have added one more term called buffers actually, right? So what you can see here is, you know, uh, nothing is getting printed. So I have seen a lot of students what they think, oh, there is a problem with my code. So let me control C, let me terminate this code. There is something wrong. So I will rerun it. So what they do is they will terminate this code and then they will rerun it. Okay. But they don't have the patience to really wait for some time because if you wait for some time, you will get the biggest surprise. So there are two surprises you had for some of you, right? Or many of you. When you did A dot out, nothing was printed. Nothing was printed for some time. But the second surprise that you got was sand foundry surprise got printed so many times, right? It got printed so many times, basically. So what's going on? It's an infinite loop, right, basically? So what's going on? So, so remember that what you see in the code is what you generally don't get in the output. And this is a very good example for us to understand. 
lot of people might say what is wrong with my computer i have seen that right because if you don't see anything in your a dot out if you don't see then you say there's something wrong with my code or there's something wrong with my computer i have i have got a feedback people say something wrong is there in my machine okay this is not true actually you can see that you know periodically once again it is coming right so what's going on i will now explain you in clear terms with a whiteboard diagram now okay so let's wait for a minute uh, let me prepare for whiteboard um, diagram and i will keep running this in the background right our objective is printf this is our code so let me take this code out i'll take this code out and then i'll go into the lab i'll go into the whiteboard now right okay so let's go into the whiteboard and uh, first thing is i will just uh, create some space and then i will uh, uh, copy paste the code that we had oh sorry about that just hold on yeah uh, i i need to write this right so that we can we have more clarity about what's going on right okay okay so this is the code right so what you see is we are doing a printf send font is surprise the first thing to remember in this exa example is there is no backslash n there is no backslash n there is no new line here okay New line plays a great role in standard I/O library buffers. Actually, okay. So, if you have to do a process diagram, how things are working behind the scenes, right? I'm just going to draw a diagram. So, please bear with me for a second. Okay. Yeah. If I have to draw a process diagram, right? What you see is as part of your process. Let's take. this is your process actually right okay i know it is little funny but let me draw it actually okay so this is the area associated with the memory your programs are doing a printf right so printf should supposed to come on the screen right basically it should come it should come on your terminal consider this is your terminal right okay this is your keyboard and this is your say monitor right so it should come here it should come like this so generally when you do a printf operations like this actually correct what happens is we have a concept of standard io buffers right so whenever you do a printf like this the data from your program will go into an intermediate buffer generally okay so the data will go here so that sand foundry surprise sand foundry surprise it will go into this buffer it won't be written into your terminal so there are certain rules and guidelines especially for a standard output device which is our monitor but what are we doing we are doing a printf here as you can see printf on a standard output is a standard output std out right standard outputs are always known as line buffered items line line buffered what is the meaning of line buffered the meaning of line buffered is you keep buffering till you encounter a new line the moment you encounter a new line immediately flush the content of this into the output device so that is the reason whenever you have a backslash and whatever you write will be flushed automatically and that is the meaning of line buffered okay in this example in this example there is no backslash and so what's happening in reality is in an infinite loop we are printing sand foundry surprise into this buffer right we are printing into this buffer actually and eventually what will happen is the buffer will be full once the buffer is full then the another obviously rule kicks in and that rule says that if the buffer is full flush the entire content of that buffer into the monitor so what you saw basically you know in my output at that time was a lot of sand foundry surprise because this buffer was full right so since this buffer was full lot of sand foundry surprise got pushed into this right so the if you see the outcome once again it is running right you can see that it is running it is running because the buffer is full right okay so it is running you can see that right so you have to remember that backslash n is very helpful in terms of lot of display operations or line buffering right if you don't have a backslash n things are working behind the scenes but yeah you have to wait you have to be patient 
if the program terminates it will anyway display the data onto the screen okay or if the buffer is full it will also display the data on the screen right i think that was the objective of you know this particular exercise to make sure that you need to understand there's a concept of intermediate buffers or buffers provided by standard io libraries okay so whenever you open any string then it will always be having some buffer actually right and um, now you understand it so i'll modify the code little bit so that we have more clarity about what i have told just now okay so now i am modifying the code for you so 25.c now let's add a backslash and just to see what's happening right okay so i told you things gets buffered okay and then when we run the code you will always see that send font to surprise will get printed one second printed one second printed one second printed like it's going on okay so because it's just a one second so it gets buffered and then the moment you see backslash n so that entire line will be printed sleep for one second the entire line will be printed okay we can still do some more changes for us to understand what's really happening okay so let's keep this backslash n here as it is instead of sleeping for one second what we can do is you know maybe we'll sleep for say five seconds okay so that we can do a count and then what we do is i'll simply do a new line here print out right so what i am doing in this part is you know we'll have for five seconds this printf in the buffer so we'll kind of count it so we, we put this in the buffer obviously it's automatically there and then we sleep for five seconds right so we're sleeping after five seconds we just push a new line the moment you push a new line it flushes right it's a flush so what you see here is uh, if you see this now right so let me compile this code sorry let me compile this code now okay so cc done so let me start we'll have a count of one two three four five okay so we started one two three four five right so after five seconds we we, we did a uh, flush then again five seconds a flush will happen right so i think that's what you are observing it i know it's a video so i think you can try try with your own uh, you know sleep and some more variations if you would want this will really you know uh, clear some of the doubts if you still have right okay so uh, i hope uh, you like this particular piece of code uh, which will allow you to understand something more about the standard io libraries okay thank you very much and i will see you in another video